The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. As uh, the American astronauts landed on the moon for the first time, the then President of America, Nixon, declared to the whole world, this is the greatest and most important event in the history of the world since the day of creation. To this exaggerated statement, the well-known preacher Billy Graham responded, the president seems mistaken because the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the most important event in the history of the world. Today, we celebrate the Easter. Hence, I wish you all a happy Easter. Easter is the feast of all of our Christian faith. It is the feast of all the feasts no feast in the liturgical calendar can be compared to the feast of Easter. Easter is the greatest feast in the liturgical calendar of the church and it is indeed the greatest feast of all the free feasts we celebrate during the year. Our faith, our hope, and meaning of our life is founded on Jesus' resurrection. That's why St. Paul so clearly tells us, if Christ has not risen from the dead, then our believing is useless. If there is no resurrection of Christ, in our Christian life, then there is no meaning in our Christian life and we cannot exist in this world as Christians. Yes, resurrection of Jesus is the crowning point of the history of our salvation. There lies the foundation of our Christian faith. And that's why the whole world celebrates rejoicing and thanking God for the wonders he has worked in this universe. Alleluia. Very often we sing Alleluia in our lit liturgical singing. Alleluia is the typical Easter acclamation. It is composed of two Hebrew words, Allelu and Ia. The former is the imperative form of the verb, which means to praise God, while the later, Ia, is a shortened form of the personal name of God, Yahweh. Alleluia thus means Praise the Lord. Today, the whole church sings Alleluia, Alleluia. That is, praise the Lord for the wonders He has done in our life. And throughout the Christian era, Alleluia has been the outburst of the church. The all the centuries the response that the church gives at the Easter, singing Alleluia, 
and expressing its joy and sharing the joy one another wishing each other happy easter and singing alleluia alleluia we all sing alleluia at easter and today we all sang alleluia praising god thanking god and rejoicing ourselves for the great wonders that god has done in our life and today we see mary magdalene loves jesus beyond words and if you see the pages of the holy gospel we understand how she loved jesus she came first to the tomb and she could not see what she wanted to see but loving she believed that which she could not understand as she stood steadfast in her love she became thus a sharer in the divine glory of jesus love is the great interpreter where the intellect sometimes can and cannot grasp we can understand certain things only with love with intellect we cannot understand or we cannot relate ourselves to a, to the other person love gives meaning and fulfillment to our actions so also we will never understand the mystery of the resurrection unless we love jesus how this resurrection is possible how a man can raise up with his body again after dying to ordinary human intellect it is not possible but if you look with the eyes of faith when we look it with the eyes of love we understand the resurrection of jesus jesus is our hope the lord is truly risen and that is the message of easter god did not abandon him for he is faithful and through this salvific act god opens the door of salvation to whole of humanity and today salvation is possible for you and for me and we truly believe in the words of jesus whoever believes in me even though he dies he still lives eternally i am the life and the resurrection whoever believes in me he will live eternally and these words of jesus have come a reality today it is a promise that if you go the way of jesus god will raise each one of us to the glory like that of jesus jesus gives a share to you and to me in his resurrection in his glorious life provided we believe in him provided we love him and turn to him and go to him with a sincere heart the message of easter is not the thing of the past that happened about 2020 years ago it should sink deep into our hearts the mission of christ begins for every one of us with the resurrection what jesus has left in this world we need to take up upon our shoulders and go and preach to the whole world that christ is risen witnessing that god can work wonders even in everybody's life and we are eligible to become the children of god and we all become children of god only sharing in his resurrection easter in our heart how do we experience easter in our heart we the church the community of faithful are the risen body of christ that exactly made you and me to come to this church today not only we but thousands and crores of people around the world going to the church 
and celebrating this great event singing alleluia alleluia praising god it is in and through that jesus has to work today we must be his instruments for continuing his mission and we need to proclaim to the whole world that jesus is the savior of the world and we have life only in jesus and through jesus today we do not have any more access to the empty tomb there is nothing in the empty tomb there is we cannot find the body of jesus or the appearance of the lord but we have his word our easter faith is not built on the empty tomb but on the risen christ himself and the word of god and we cannot see but we believe god and we are blessed because happy are the are the ones who do not see still believe and today we need to believe in the resurrection of jesus and today we are asked to be the messengers of the resurrection of christ we need to proclaim the good news that jesus brought to this world and we need to become the witness of the witnesses of the resurrection living a heavenly life already here on this world and to die with jesus dying to self and to rise with him again in his life of glory and to realize that the resurrection of jesus enables us to perceive things people in a new life in a new light so when we celebrate this great event easter it should be celebrated in our hearts we may celebrate a nice easter we may celebrate a joyful easter we may greet each other a happy easter but when we do not celebrate it in our hearts when we do not celebrate it in our lives then it has no meaning so let us believe in the resurrection of jesus and let us thank god for the wonders he has worked in our life in the history of salvation and for this greatest gift of jesus who came to this world lived among us suffered died on the cross and today he is risen hence we all wish with grateful hearts to god and wishing each other a happy easter now we enter into the third part of the service baptismal liturgy principal celebrant will bless the baptismal water saying a prayer and we all our response will be springs of water bless the lord praise and exalt him above all forever